dears, friends, and uh, ladies and gentlemen. Many thanks to the moderator, doc, uh, Professor Dr. John, for your kind words. My husband, uh, Professor Dr. Jing An Rui, and I would like to thank ASM and Utah for jointly organizing this morning like morning lecture. It's our great honor to have the opportunity to make presentations here at Utah. Uh, this is the fourth visit for me and my husband. Uh, three visits, including this one, were uh, uh, arranged by our good friend Nadu Hongli B. He is an uh, ASM fellow. Uh, thank you, Dr. Hong, for your kind hospitalities. Uh, today, I will share with you an understanding of cancer biology and uh, prevention. I will also share with you some of my research findings. What I'm going to talk today is learning about cancer for subduing cancer. As you all know, cancer is the second leading death, uh, leading cause of death while worldwide. About one of five persons would die of cancer. What do we need to know about cancer? You know, cancer is resulted from the DNA damage. Uh, this slide shows the comparison of chromosomes from normal, oh, sorry. From uh, normal, normal cell and uh, cancer cell. Uh, cancer cell chromosome are heteroid. Uh, many kind of that DNA damage occurred, such as uh, gene mutation and the translocation, like this uh, mutation, point mutation, and the translocation, and the gene amplification, and the deletion, deletion, and the uh, uh, amplification. Also, some chemical modification, such as methylation and the acetylation. All these alternations would cause abnormal proteins in structure, function, and amount. Then, will cause cancer. Oh, how many kinds, how many agents would cause cancer? Means uh, carcino, carcinogens, carcinogens. Uh, some is internal on agents, such as seeding, chemical and biological agents. And some of are internal agents, such as genetic predisposition and uh, microenvironment, such as chronic inflammation and uh, some disordered neural endocrine. The physics carcinogens including uh, radiation surgery, such as this kind of radiations, and uh, over radiation of these above factors may cause various cancers through chromosome breaking, uh, gene mutation, or rearrangement. The chemical carcinogens include including a lot of chemicals. A few of these carcinogens are directly on DNA, but generally the more patient, uh, the more potent ones become uh, damaging 
only after they have been changed uh, to a more reactive form by metabolic metabolic process in the liver. The biological carcinogens, including uh, some of virus, uh, bacteria, or parasites, such as the DNA virus, include uh, HPV, HPV, and the EBV. The RNA virus includes HCV and HIV, and some bacteria may associate with stomach cancer and uh, lymphoma. Uh, this one. Internal agents for oncogenesis genesis include genetic predisposition, that is loss of heterozygosity, LOH, and uh, alter, uh, alternation of anti-cancer potentials such as uh, decrease the DNA damage repairing function and uh, weakened uh, immunological competence. Uh, and the chronic inflammation is very important because the cytokines derived from the mm, uh, chronic inflammation may provide the um, microenvironment for processing cancer. Promit, uh, promit, uh, promoting cancer. All of these agents provide the cancer susceptibility, but not a certainty. Uh, this, is, this slide shows the distributions of carcino carcino <laughs> carcinogenesis caused by various uh, carcinogens. You see, most uh, uh, the mo uh, most majority is tobacco, so uh, no smoking is suggested, and the diet. Uh, the the longer the exposure exposure to carcinogens, the higher the cancer incidence. This slide shows if er, uh, at young, very young age. Exposed, exposed to the uh, carcinogen, the cancer incidence is very high. How does a normal cell become a cancer cell? This is not be fully revealed. As we now know, uh, abnormal cell microenvironment would cause genetic ab abnormal including proto-oncogen activation and the tumor suppressor gene inactivation. Oh, what are proto-oncogens and the tumor suppressor genes? Proto-oncogens are housekeeping genes that are associated with a basic action of normal cells. It's Next is very important, all important genes in the cell. When the proto-oncogen is activated, it becomes oncogen. Uh, the tumor suppressor genes are genes that inhibit the cancer uh, initi initiation and the progression. Uh, a single Genetic alternation is insufficient to cause cancer. Carcinogenesis takes a long time, long period of time. Uh, the clinically di diagnosed cancer may initiate years ago, not just when they come to see the doctor. This is a long pe period of time, uh, and from one cell. Uh, malignant transformation and then uh, become a, prim a, a primary cancer in situ and then uh, bigger and bigger and then invasion and the 
malignant transformation is one of the dis destinations of normal cell evolution. It's not surprising because uh, destinations of cell evolution include uh, synthesis and the death, cell synthesis and the death, or malignant transformation, transformation and the cancer. So, uh, also cancer cells can be dominant in our body without proliferation, invading, and metastatic behavior. So a cancer patient can survive for a long time with a cancer in the body. But keeping the cancer cells dominant, do, uh, dominant, how to make the cancer cell dominant? This is an attractive project to study. The mechanism is not fully understood yet. But it is suggested that the cell uh, microenvironment would be very important. The hallmark for cancer cell. Uh, cancer cell has genetic instability. They may cause evading apoptosis, uh, dearranged de proliferation. Regulated proliferation, uh, indefinite division, uh, angiogenesis, or multi drug resistance, or aberrant differentiation, and uh, evasion and metastasis, and finally, cause death. Uh, the cancer cell grows and the division without restraint. Uh, this uh, picture shows that the normal cells uh, keep, uh, stop growing when uh, the culture is vivo, but the cancer cell keep growing continuously. Uh, apoptosis is a very important pro uh, mechanism for damaging the cell. But the cancer cell ev is evading apoptosis. Evading apoptosis is one of the crucial mechanisms for cancer resistance to radiotherapy and chemotherapy. Uh, cancer cell and uh, the stroma cell can uh, produce uh, uh, produce some uh, angiogenesis factors and uh, uh, some blood uh, 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 vessels will grow in to the cancer. So cancer cell secrete angio uh, 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 angiogenic factors are the induced uh, angiogenetic. Uh, this is very important for cancer growth and metastasis. Uh, Multi-drug resistance is also a very important property for cancer. Uh, cancer cell surface has MDR molecule. This molecule can form bound out of drugs, um, a, a very a various kind of drugs. Also invade, uh, invading, uh, invade surrounding tissue uh, without a uh, capital. Uh, this is a uh, benign cancer, a uh, benign tumor, and this is a malignant cancer. Also, uh, metastasis to liver and the lung is the most uh, uh, frequent. Also, cancer shows heterogeneity. Uh, in, within a cancer mass, the cancer cell is heterogeneous, has genicity. 
Some cancer may easily to the test set, but some cancer cells may not. Uh, cancer stem cell, CSC, is most uh, attractive project in recent years. Uh, many cancers ori originate from a single normal stem cell. The cancer stem cells have potentials for metastasis and anti-therapies, uh, including radio action and uh, chemo drugs. Um, but only a small population of cancer stem cells maintain cancer growth, metastasis, recurrence, and um, uh, MDR. To cure cancer is crucial to find ways to cure the cancer stem cells. So if the, your uh, therapy can cure the stem cell, then the patient will get cured. But if you kill uh, the surround the, the cancer cells, but not the stem cell, cancer stem cell, then the cancer would recur, recur. Uh, cancer is preventable and curable, and. Uh, the UTCC reported that about 12 million new cases of cancer occurs in the world per year. Among them, 40% of cancer is preventable. So, cancer prevention is most important in cancer control. In our body, there are a number of anti-cancer metastasis mechanisms such as being, uh, damaged DNA can be repaired by a uh, complicated mechanism. A proliferation of DNA damaged cells can be prevented by some tumor suppressor genes. Apoptosis, a kind of programmed cell death, can be induced by some, also by some uh, tumor suppressor genes if the DNA damage cannot be repaired. Um, but malignantly transformed cells can be formed and killed by uh, complicated immunological mechanisms. Uh, cancer cells also can be induced to become dormant states. Uh, then how to prevent cancer? Uh, cancer is a disease of the mind, body, and the spirit. So to make a uh, proactive and a positive spirit is most important. Also take healthy diet. You know, uh, this is the diet power. The, at the base, base uh, is serous. So serous should be as a basic and a main food, including uh, coarse grain. And take enough vegetables and fruits. Avoid a high fat diet. Uh, you know, breast cancer and uh, pancreas cancer are associated with high fat diet. Yeah. Diet. Also avoid avoid uh, carcinogen containing food and the drink. Avoid carcinogen containing foods, include all these kind of foods. And this is the uh, foods containing anti-cancer components. Uh, all these foods are good for us. Also. Keep healthy lifestyle, healthy diet, and the leading habit. Avoid excessive working and uh, uh, burning midnight oil. Avoid smoking and alcohol. 
avoid uh, take, uh, contacting carcinogens. Chemicals include uh, all these uh, very uh, uh, many chemicals, such as formaldehyde, benzene, and uh, nitrate amine, and so on. And the food container put hot and oil foods merely into containers made of glass or china or plastic with this label. Uh, avoid over radiation such as UV uh, and uh, virus infection, including HPV, HCV, HIV, and uh, HPV, and so on. Uh, exercise uh, it, uh, exercising daily. Uh, following, I will briefly introduce about our research. Uh, oncogenes and the cancer, uh, oncogenesis and the cancer progression are complicated process, which involve the distinct stages associated with uh, accumulation genetic alternations. Uh, despite more than 1,000 cancer-associated genes and proteins have been identified, but the mechanism for oncogenesis and the metastasis are still not fully revealed. Uh, since 1998, my lab has devoted in finding, cloning, and identifying novel cancer-associated genes. Uh, LAMTAM 4B is one of these. Uh, LAMTAM 4B was originally found and cloned in our lab by fluorescent differential display uh, from 110 uh, uh, differential display fragments. Then we cloned and uh, identified uh, this gene. Uh, it, this gene encodes two, at least two isoforms of protein uh, of proteins. Uh, uh, th th this gene. MRA is overexpressed in 87% of HCC, hepatocellular carcinoma. The important is this level of, of expression associates with the pathological grids. The higher grid, the higher expression. Uh, this gene encodes at least the two uh, isoforms of proteins. Uh, this is with a molecular weight of 35, and this with a molecular weight of 48, uh, uh, 28. So we call the uh, LAMTEM 35 and the LAMTEM 24. Uh, the only the LAMTEM 35 protein is overexpressed in 83% HCC, uh, you see. Uh, this is the uh, paired non-cancerous liver in the paired non-cancerous liver, and this is in the uh, liver uh, carcinoma. Uh, also, LAMTEM 4B, 35 protein level associated with uh, pathological grid, and this is the histo, uh, immunohistochemistry uh, profile. Uh, LAMTEM 4B35 overexpression in HCC is associated with metastasis. As we divided uh, the expression level into three groups. Uh, less than two and uh, two to four and uh, over more than five more than five you see uh, the higher expression the higher uh, tumor metastasis 
Thank you very much. 